what's up youtube and welcome to this react tutorial so in this video we are discussing how we can get data from the firebase database into a bootstrap table and how can we make the data live so that uh, any changes made to the firebase database is uh, reflected immediately in our table so let us begin so this is the kind of data that we will retrieve from the firebase and display in our table so there are a bunch of customers having full name phone number and date of birth so each customer have these attributes so in the previous video uh, we set up the firebase config in a separate component and a separate component for doing the CRUD operations of the Firebase database. Now we, we will gonna create a new component real time data and a new file index.js. So, first I have to import the configuration. So, import start Firebase from going backwards in the component folder and then the firebase config and index we also have to import react and ref and on value functions from the firebase database we also have to import one more thing but before that i have to uh, install react bootstrap So we will use react bootstrap instead of the simple bootstrap. Copy this and paste this in the terminal. Enter. And we, we also have to include this line in our app.js so that we can use the react bootstrap uh, in our entire application so now import table from react bootstrap now uh, i i need to create a constant db which will have my start firebase function so i'm calling the start firebase function and saving it uh, in a constant db because uh, it will never gonna change now first the constructor which will have a super method and this dot state will hold only one property which is table data of the type array and then the render method which will return table so the bootstrap table And we also need to include the username, which is gonna be the folder name or the name of the node in this data. So this devil hunter username and for the T body, it will be made out of the uh, table data. This dot state dot table data we have a map function which takes an uh, arrow function and inside it we can map items of the array to anything we like so i'm gonna create a table raw and table cell and put my data inside them the uh, arrow function can take two arguments uh, first is the raw data and the second will be the index first table cell will contain the index the second one will contain the key so the key is gonna be the uh, name of the node or the name of the folder which is gonna be the username and raw data or we can just say raw This should be exactly same as whatever is saved uh, within the database. 
this arrow function also expects return so we are returning this row now let's retrieve the data so component did mount function so first of all i will declare a constant db ref which will use the reference function to get all of the customers data then the on value function of the firebase database which takes two arguments db ref and the arrow function uh, with a parameter snapshot this snapshot carries uh, all the data retrieved from the firebase database and uh, some additional properties and methods that we don't need so we will extract only the data that we need and save it in the table data then we are already uh, mapping the table data so our data will be shown so i will create an empty array records and then using the snapshot dot for each function which takes uh, uh, an arrow function child snapshot and inside this key name which will be the name of the node or the name of the folder so child snapshot dot key and then the data so this is a, a, a property of the a firebase data snapshot object that is uh, that is retrieved with this on value function so child snapshot dot well will get us the data now records dot push i will create an object with with a key and the rest of the data so uh, when this uh, function is finished i will set state and save this and save these records into my table data so now uh, i will use this component inside my app.js but i uh, i made a mistake that uh, a react component should always start with a capital letter so this should be real time data with a capital letter so now inside my app.js i can replace this import statement real time data now i can try to run this so all of my data is here i just need to add some classes to make it look fancy so you can see that this is our final table and let's try to add a new customer so you can see that uh, the table was updated without any delay so uh, this is the combined power of the react and firebase and we can change this uh, serial number this should be plus one and this raw should have a key because react tells us that uh, everything which is mapped should have a unique key so this this is also we will also use the index as our unique key so now it looks perfect so this is all for the video thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel See you next time.